He bet me $50,000 I was wrong about the property market. Here's why I didn't take that bet. Cast your mind back to the start of last year. Can you remember the headlines of the day? Well, they weren't pretty, that's for sure. They were full of doom and gloom about the property market, the sky was falling, and many pundits predicted falls of over 20%. The picture they painted was gloomy, especially for first-time investors unsure of what to believe. It was a scary time for many. And yet, once again, I thoroughly disagreed with these pessimistic predictions. I knew different, and I was very vocal about telling my audience all about it. I came out and said on multiple videos that 2023 was a great time to buy and that prices would finish the year off higher than when they started. Many people laughed at me, ridiculed me, and criticized me rudely. One guy even said he'd bet me $50,000 that my prediction for property prices was wrong. I could have taken that bet, but I don't like taking money from suckers. So what happened? By the end of 2023, the median house price in Australia hit a record high, driven by property price increases in Perth, Adelaide, Brisbane, Sydney and multiple regional markets. But this isn't the first time I've been criticised for my property predictions, only for my critics to be silenced. For example, my critics laughed when in October of 2020, as we neared the end of the pandemic, I said we'd have a massive property boom in the next 12 months. And what happened? 2021 was the biggest property boom we've had in our lifetimes. But I don't always predict that property prices will rise. For example, towards the end of 2016, I said Melbourne and Sydney property prices would fall and you should not invest in those markets at that time. Many of my critics again hated on me. They tried to tear up my reputation to shreds. They made up posts on dodgy online forums and sent me aggressive, abusive emails. And yet, what happened? In 2017, shortly after I made my prediction, property prices in Sydney and Melbourne had their biggest price falls since World War II. And although house prices have recovered since then, it was a scary 18 months for many home buyers and investors. Now, as we cross the midpoint of 2024, there are many who say that property prices will fall and they're coming up with all sorts of reasons for it. Me, I'm the opposite. I believe that property prices will rise significantly this year and next, driven by multiple factors. But, and here's where you have to be careful and know what you're doing, they won't rise everywhere. This means yes, some areas will skyrocket, but some areas will struggle. It's important you do your due diligence. 